welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Erin Muffaletto, your New Mexico host, and today we are next door to the Roundhouse in beautiful Santa Fe, New Mexico, interviewing Representative Kelly Fajardo. So thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you for having us. It's great. Thanks. So we know you're busy, and um, it's actually during the legislative session right now. So tell us a little bit about some of your priorities. Um, well, as a state rep, one of as legislative priorities that I'm carrying this year has a lot of CYFD reform bills mm -hmm. and uh, domestic violence bills and child protection bills. Okay. Um, kind of something that I fell into as a freshman legislator and something I've become very passionate about. So what happened to make you like want to really push those bills? Well, in Valencia County, the area I represent, um, we have the highest rate of kids in CYFD care wow. per capita. And I didn't learn that until I became a state rep. Okay. And when I became a state rep, I realized that I can actually do something about it. Mm -hmm. So I fought um, to have a child advocacy center put into our community. It's the first rural center in the state. Oh, wow. Um, and I have a great team that has stood behind us to get this going. I have the support of the governor mm -hmm. um, and the entire support of CYFD. And it's making a difference in the community. Well, that's great. And uh, along with that, I've created great relationships with the folks at CYFD and created that partnership of we need to see something different. Right. And what does that look like and going forward with that change. Mm -hmm. And have you seen a shift with CYF CYFD, like getting better? I mean, there's been so much in the news in the past few years, but going forward, what do you think? I, I have. You know, um, there has been a lot of problems. I think... Um, the Omari case mm -hmm. was a tragic eye-opener. It should have never happened, but it opened, opened our eyes to a lot of things. Right. Um, and I see um, Secretary Jacobson, who's our new Secretary Designate, has um, really had a vision for CYFD, and I think the entire team has, when um, CYFD and their model is, is repairing broken families. Mm -hmm. And I see, uh, since I've been a legislator, since I've been working with them, I see that desire to actually implement that. Right. When you think of CYFD, they're the last people you want to call. Yeah. It's scary, you know. And so they're trying to change that image. Mm -hmm. They're trying to change what they do. Um, some of my legislation helps with that. It creates a bridge. And um, so, yeah, it's a kind of exciting, but yeah, I do see a lot of changes. And where do you foresee your legislation going from here? It's in the Senate right now. Okay. So it's everything, um, the, um, my CYFD reform bill has actually passed the House unanimously through all committees. And it is, um, well, we had a few little dissenting, I guess, and uh, now it's sitting in the Senate and uh, we're waiting to get a hearing in the Senate. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll be fighting on that side to make sure it gets heard. All right. And speaking of fighting, um, <laughs> <laughs> how how have you seen um, the politics play out this session? It's a sixty day session. Um, it's very unique to the last mm -hmm. several years um, because the Republicans have the House and Democrats have the Senate. How have you seen things play out? It's been interesting. It is, I mean, it's different the last 60 years. Mm -hmm. um, when, when we took the House, there was no transition plan or team. We just had to figure things out. Mm -hmm. um, we've heard that we've done a pretty good job at that. Um, we've gotten great feedback yeah. about, um, we've changed some committees and how they're run in the House. Um, we make sure that we're on time, yeah. that we maintain a schedule. And that has been great. And it's put a little pressure on the Senate at times to kind of um, be a little bit more responsive. Mm -hmm. um, and as we're nearing the end, you know, we have bills coming over from the Senate. We have House bills going over, over there as well. And so now this, there's a fight of where's my bill and why is it being heard? Right. And that's always a fight. That, that is not a, a Republican, Democrat issue. That's a House Senate issue. So even before we were there, um, those issues existed. Mm -hmm. So, and we're just trying to um, find, find that balance and get good legislation through. Right. And have you seen a lot more bills coming through the House this year? We've had a lot fewer bills as far as from, from the Senate. Mm -hmm. um, about the, the Senate is actually the first, my first time serving, we had about a total, I believe in the House, 800 bills dropped. This wow. year we had 400. The Senate, um, closer to 500, their, their number's usually higher. Um, not as many legislation being um, dropped, yeah. um, but I think better legislation. Yeah. I think you know, we're really thinking about what, what to do right for the state. Right. And, and um, just to kind of go back, and you discussed 
you're elected recently. Um, what inspired you to get involved in politics? I tell people the same thing. I got tired of complaining all the time. Yeah. And that's kind of why I, I uh, yeah, I got tired of complaining all the time. I wanted to get my foot in the door. I wanted to make a difference. Um, I have to be honest, I think I complain more now than I did before. Because <laughs> I see why things are the way they are. Um, but I also love being able to have a voice for my community. Yeah. I, 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 I have a deep heart for Valencia County, for my community. And I love advocating for them. And so that's why I stay. And is the CYFD bill something that you'll continue to uh, push, let's say, if it doesn't go through this year, for next year? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a, it's a great bill. Mm -hmm. um, so, and a little bit of uh, background. So, right now with CYFD, they have two options when they get involved with the case. They can either ask you very nicely, please go get help. Mm -hmm. The other option is, we're going to take your children away. Yeah. So, what this bill does, it has that middle ground where there is, you need help, mm -hmm. but it's not so extreme that we want to take your children away. Right. So this allows CYFD to come in and require you to get the help, much like a drug court. Mm. You know, in, in a drug court, the judge will say, you know, if you do this, you don't have to get, we, go, go to jail. And it's kind of the same thing. If you do this, we're, we're going to help you get your family back together. Right. We're going to help you get the resources that you need to, to get your family back together. And that's what CYFD needs to be focusing on more. And that's what the bill does. It, it allows them to have that middle ground. All right. Well, it sounds like a great bill, and I hope it gets past this session. Thank so thank you so much for all of you do, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Um, here again, we're in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and that's it for today. Comcast, New Mexico. I'm Erin. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Kelly.